Now to Utah Senator Mitt Romney. The 2012 GOP presidential nominee announced he will not run for re-election next year and will retire from the Senate. He also called for a new generation of leaders in both parties. Senior congressional correspondent Rachel Scott is on Capitol Hill with the latest. Good morning, Rachel. George, good morning. Senator Mitt Romney's career in American politics may be coming to an end, but not without a stark warning for the future of his party and the country. This morning, Senator Mitt Romney calling for a new generation of leadership, announcing he will not seek re-election next year. I just don't think that we need another person in their 80s. Uh, I'm a little long of tooth already. We don't need more like me. The 76-year-old has been in the public eye nearly his whole life, the son of Michigan Governor George Romney. He served as the CEO of the 2002 Winter Olympics in Salt Lake City and governor of Massachusetts. After one failed run for president in 2008, Romney became the Republican nominee in 2012, the first Mormon to lead a ticket. But after he lost to President Obama, his brand of moderate politics became an outlier in the GOP. When Romney won Utah's open Senate seat in 2018, he became one of the few Republicans to speak out against Trump. He is the only Republican senator who voted to convict Trump in both of his impeachment trials. Were I to ignore the evidence that has been presented and disregard what I believe my oath and the Constitution demands of me for the sake of a partisan end, it would, I fear, expose my character to history's rebuke and the censure of my own conscience. But the former president still dominates the Republican Party, now the front runner once again. Do you feel like this is a Republican Party that is beholden to former President Donald Trump? Well, there's no question but that the Republican Party today is, is in the shadow of Donald Trump. Uh, he is the leader of the greatest portion of the Republican Party. Uh, it's a populist, I believe, demagogue portion of the party. Trump responding, calling Romney's retirement fantastic news for America, but Romney says he is convinced in time the party will move past the former president, saying young voters want leaders that are focused on the future and issues, not past grievances. Guys. Okay, Rachel, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.